Now that we've accessed Eros, what we're going to show you is three projects that we've created. Uh, the first project is AFL Single Mode Project. It's a certification process in which we're certifying the fiber and inspecting both ends of the fiber. In the setup, you have to have connectivity of the tablet through Wi-Fi to Eros. The other part is you have to have Bluetooth connectivity to the road units. The first step we're going to make is the referencing. We're going to go into the AFL single mode and we're going to go in and reference the, the jumpers. What you'll notice is because this is single mode, if you look at the top of the module, which is on the back side of the carrier, you're going to notice if it's a quad module, it'll have SM for single mode and it'll have MM for multi-mode. What you're going to do is inspect, clean, and then re-inspect the fiber jumper before you put it into the single mode. Once you put it into the single mode, you'll do the same for the other unit. You're going to need to have a bulkhead or a matey sleeve in between. You will connect those jumpers together. You're going to have a main unit and a remote unit, and it doesn't matter which one is which. However, one has to be a remote, and the other tablet has to be a main tablet. Both tablets, you will go into the project and download, in this particular case, you downloaded the demo application, and then you'll have to um, uh, pick the AFL single mode fiber group. On the remote unit, you'll go into the menu, Again, it's the three horizontal buttons to the left of the AFL logo at the top of the screen. Approximately halfway down, you'll see where it says remote mode. You're going to put that unit into remote mode. When you put that unit in remote mode, what you'll need to do is look on the animated screen, and there's a bouncing fiber. Make sure that that bouncing fiber is over the correct port. If it's not over the correct port, then all you have to do is tap above the port that it needs to be over and it'll automatically make that switch. On the main unit, what you're going to see is the animated screen of the rogue unit, but you're also going to notice some red text about halfway down underneath the fiber number. The reason for that is because the units need to be referenced and one of the visuals that we provide is that of it being in red and that is the test setup. Once the reference goes through and it's a good reference, it turns it to gray giving you a visual that you've already done your reference. So how do you reference? What you do is on the main unit accessing the menu to the top left of the AFL logo. It's the three horizontal lines. You press on that. Approximately halfway down you'll see referencing. You hit referencing what you'll notice is it says engine one, engine two. As we read, we read left to right. So the first engine and or port number one is going to be on the left hand side with the rogue facing you. That means that the port all the way to the right would be engine number two. So in this particular case, engine one on a quad unit, that means a multi-mode, single mode unit, Engine 1 is going to be multi-mode, which again is the left-hand port, and single mode will be the right-hand port. In this exercise, we're doing AFL single mode, therefore we're going to access the single mode port, which is SM, and it's at the top right. So after you've cleaned and inspected and plugged in the jumpers, one jumper for each rogue, and then connected through a uh, a bulkhead, you'll notice that there's connectivity. Next, it'll go through a series of clicks, which is it's referencing between the two units. It's referencing the power. Once it references the power, it'll break the connection by showing you graphically that it breaks the fiber, and then you'll be back out to the graphic representation of the rogue unit on the main unit. On the remote unit, you'll have the graphic representation of a rogue display and unit and you got to make sure that in the top left hand corner that it's a single fiber. There is an opportunity to put it in MPO. You do not want to do that unless you're using an MPO switch. In this particular case we're not. Um, now we're ready to test.